But there have been some iconic moves in WWE history. From Sweet Chin Music to the RKO, these moves are truly memorable for all the right reasons. However, there are certain moves that leave fans utterly speechless. Either they're completely inappropriate for a wrestling match, or they look so bad that fans are pulled out of the illusion that this is pro wrestling. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WTF moves in WWE. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Oh, we now have a Hindi channel as well, so if you speak or understand Hindi, check it out. Number 10. Quincy Elliott Booby Smash Quincy Elliott is one of the more interesting and unique characters that has surfaced in recent years. Footage of Elliott's matches usually go viral on social media because he performs certain moves that leave fans in a state of shock. Take for instance when Elliott was wrestling NXT star Scripps on NXT Level Up. Suddenly during the match, Elliott performed one of the most unique moves ever. Instead of performing the popular punches in the corner spot, he decided to use his own upper body instead of his fists. This left fans and the announcers in total disbelief. We don't blame them. Number 9. Braun Strowman and Ricochet Hairbrush Attack The team of Strowman and Ricochet have teamed together a number of times on TV and house show events, but one particular match they had received attention for all the wrong reasons. The duo were wrestling the Maximum Male Models in March of 2023. During the match, Strowman managed to obtain the hairbrush of the male models. After using it to comb his beard, Strowman did the unthinkable. The former WWE Universal Champion decided to violently use the hairbrush on his backside as if it was toilet paper. Strowman would then throw the brush back to Ricochet, and Ricochet then proceeded to attack Mansoor with a now, let's say, contaminated item. Number 8. Eva Marie Slice Bread Eva Marie was never the best wrestler in the world, and she was without question pushed beyond her ability. During Marie's run in NXT, she would debut her finishing move, The Slice Bread. This move has been perfected over the years, and it's very popular, especially with athletic talents. However, when Marie performed the move, it legitimately received audible laughs from the crowd. The move is supposed to be performed quickly and with grace, but Marie looked like she was doing it in bullet time. It's unclear why WWE decided to give someone who was struggling to perform basic moves a notable finish of this nature, but WWE at one point were adamant on making the former Total Divas star the next big thing. Number 7. Veto Dress Code In 2006, WWE made the bold decision to re-debut Vito as a cross-dressing man. This idea came from Vince and Stephanie McMahon who randomly came up to Vito backstage and asked him how he'd feel about wearing a dress. Whilst his gimmick was atrocious and mainly existed to make McMahon laugh, Vito was incredibly dedicated to the character and it was even reported that he would stay in character when travelling, with the aim of trying to get the new persona over. But the most infamous thing about this gimmick was, without question, his finishing move, known as the Dress Code. This move would involve Vito putting his opponent's head under his dress so their face would face his crotch. He would then lock in an armbar and make his opponent submit whilst their face was buried in him. This was an interesting move to say the least. It worked when Vito was wrestling enhancement talents, but the thought of Vito applying the move to a wrestler such as The Undertaker or Batista was simply wrong. Number 6. Road Dog Pump Handle Slam with added hump. A road dog was one of the most popular stars of the Attitude Era and for his finishing move he would use a pump handle power slam. This move is common in pro wrestling but road dog's version of the move added a rather inappropriate twist. Just as road dog was getting ready to perform the move he would proceed to hump his opponent. On the surface this is a classic Attitude Era move but when the move is analysed at a deeper level it's one of the most disturbing finishing moves that has ever existed. Number 5. Eugene Horseback Ride the Eugene persona was a controversial character that debuted in the Ruthless Aggression era. The majority of Eugene's moveset was inspired by his favourite wrestlers such as The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin, but one particular move certainly wasn't inspired by a WWE legend. In the majority of his matches, Eugene would proceed to mount his opponent and ride them like a horse. If this wasn't bad enough, he would often spank the backside of his opponent to add insult to injury. This was humorous at first, but when Eugene was performing it in every single match, it quickly lost its comedic spark. Number 4. Bastion Booger Trip to the Back Cave In the summer of 93, WWE debuted the character of Bastion Booger. This would go down as one of the worst gimmicks in WWE history, as it was truly awful. 
In essence, Booger's character was an unkept wrestler who loved food. This character fell completely flat though, and one of the reasons fans resented the persona was because his finishing move was truly revolting. Booger's finisher was known as a trip to the back cave, as it would see Booger sit down on his opponent with his groin area landing in his opponent's face. This was sold with disgust from the WWE commentary team as they made unflattering comments such as, imagine the smell, and that is simply horrible. Number 3. Kazani Talula Bella A WWE debuted their fair share of characters that failed to get over, and Kazani is one of them. It's hard to truly define what his character or gimmick was supposed to be, but we were told as an audience that he was from some kind of carnival, and Kazani would describe the character as a mix between Jake the Snake Roberts and Doink the Clown but this did little to generate any interest in the character. Kazani only had one singles match on TV as a character when he debuted possibly one of the weakest looking finishers ever. Kazani's finisher was supposed to resemble a double arm DDT, but his variation involved him performing a roll through, meaning his opponent simply did a forward roll. When Kazani did this during his match with MVP, fans believed it was botched as there was no reason that the move was going to hurt anyone. Well, the reality was that this was Kazani's legitimate finishing move that he'd used in WWE Developmental. Number 2. Viscera The Visagra a Viscera was one of the wrestlers who went through a number of characters during his WWE tenure. He was once the 1995 King of the Ring winner and he was once a key part of the Undertaker's Ministry of Darkness faction. However, without question, the most notorious gimmick Viscera had was when he became the world's largest love machine. During the gimmick, the Viscera character would become overly sexualized and some of his moves were changed to accommodate this drastic gimmick change. One move that was added into his arsenal was a move known as the Visagra. This move involved a near 500 pound man getting on his opponent's back and then humping him with the, all his might. This move was truly insane and it was unbelievable to think that Viscera went from being the Undertaker's henchman to humping wrestlers on live TV. And number 1. John Cena, 6th move of doom. During his legendary career in WWE, Cena became notorious for having 5 moves of doom. Some fans believe that Cena was only able to execute 5 moves and that's all he ever needed to win notable matches over the likes of Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Cena would eventually get in on the joke and in 2018 he would debut a move that was literally known as the 6th move of doom. Cena had heavily teased the move in interviews and across social media so fans expected something really special. When Cena eventually performed the move at the Super Showdown pay-per-view in 2018, fans were incredibly disappointed. During Cena's tag team match where he teamed with Bobby Lashley to take on Elias and Kevin Owens, Cena began the sixth move of Doom by doing a bizarre cross with his arms and then proceeded to throw a basic worked punch at Elias. Fans were confused as to what was happening and it was clear that Cena was just trolling with the move. The weird thing was that this actually resulted in a pinfall victory for him which was supposed to make the move look credible but due to the move looking so bad upon execution, it did nothing other than to make fans question what Cena was thinking. The move was supposed to link to a movie that Cena was shooting with Jackie Chan but this connection was lazily explained and did little to cross promote the movie. But there you have it folks, 10 WTF moves in WWE. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.